Hi, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 3, focusing on the subtopic of 3.3 electrolytic cell. So we're going to do tutorial question 13, 15 and 17 respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 13, we have to start the Faraday's first law. So when talking about Faraday's, we will be imagining to be mass with relationship with the electric charge in Coulomb. So the relationship going to be here is directly proportional, which means that when the electric charge increases, the mass of the substance increases. But when the definition, when the question asks for definition, we have to write it in terms of the full sentences and use this in order to help you. So we can say that uh, the Faraday's first law states that the amount of the substance produced or consumed during electrolysis is directly proportional to the amount of electricity that passes through the electrical circuit of the cell. So this is the full sentence. Now let's do tutorial question B. So the half cell reaction at an electrode is to be magnesium 2 plus molten or in liquid, uh, accepting two electrons to form magnesium liquid. So calculate the mass of magnesium that can be produced by supplying one Faraday to the electrode. All right, so we know that 2 Faraday, 2 mole of electron equal to 2 Faraday. So from the equation, um, 2 electron produces 1 mole of magnesium. So we can say that 2 Faraday produces 1 mole of magnesium here because it is equivalent. All right. But now if we were to only supply 1 Faraday, we will get 0 0.15 mole of magnesium. Okay. So this is based on stoichiometry. Now we need to find the mass of magnesium. So the mass of magnesium can be calculated from uh, mole multiplied by molar mass. So 0 0.5 mole multiplied by 24 gram per mole. What, what we'll get is 12 gram. Alright, so that's it for tutorial question 13b. Now we're going to move on to the next question, which is tutorial 15. So one of the half reaction for the electrolysis of water is to be written as 2H2O liquid produces oxygen gas plus 4H plus aqueous and 4 electron. So if 0 0.076 liter of oxygen is collected at 25 degrees Celsius and 755 millimeter hydrogen term, millimeter mercury, calculate the electric charge. We have to find Q in Coulomb that had passed through the solution. So first we need to find the number of mole first. So the number of mole can be gotten from the ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to nRT. So we need to find N, so we can rearrange the equation to be PV is equal to RT. And V here, uh, our pressure here is 755 millimeter mercury, where we can convert it into ATM, 760 millimeter hydrogen term equal to 1 atm so 755 millimeter mercury going to equal to x atm okay so we're going to get 0 0.9926 atm if i'm not mistaken all right and our volume here is given as 0 0.076 our temperature here need to be converted into kelvin which is 298 kelvin and then our R here, which is the gas constant. So R here going to be used up as 0 0.0826 liter atm per mole per Kelvin. All right. So P here is 0 0.0934, sorry, 934 here, multiplied by 0 0.076, which is given as in the equation. 0 0.08206 is the gas constant. And the temperature is, the, is need to be in the unit of Kelvin. So 298.15. So lastly, the number of mole we will get is 3.09 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. Okay. So from here, uh, you can say that from the equation that we gotten in the equation, one mole of oxygen here, one mole requires four mole of electrons, which is one mole of electron equal to one mole of Faraday equal to 96500 coulomb 
So when you have four electrons, it means that four multiplied by six nine five hundred coulomb. All right, but the one that we calculated only contain three point zero nine times ten to the power of negative three mole of oxygen. So we need to find x here. So we can cross multiply and cross multiply here. So we will get four times times nine six five hundred coulomb times 3.09 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 1 mole. So our x here we will get 1191 coulomb. So the electrical charge in coulomb that has passed through the solution going to just be 1.191 coulomb which is very very little. Alright, now we move on to the next question which is tutorial question 17. So hydrogen gas is produced when water is electrolyzed. So 2H2O liquid plus 2 electron produces hydrogen gas and two hydroxide aqueous ion. So this is the reduction of water. So a student wants to fill a balloon with the hydrogen gas. How long? So it needs to be time. We need to find the time in the unit of second. Must a current of 12 ampere be used in the electrolysis of water to fill the balloon to a volume of 10 liter? Okay, and a pressure of 0.9 for ATM uh, at the temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. So temperature here need to be converted into Kelvin. All right. So as usual, we have to find the number of mole first because we need to compare the number of electrons that we have and the number of mole that really take part in the reaction. So PV is equal to nRT. So n equal to PV over RT. Our pressure here is 0 0.94, and our volume is 10 liter. And then our R constant, gas constant, is 0 0.08206 liter atm per mole per Kelvin times 22 degrees Celsius. We need to convert it to Kelvin here. And lastly, our number of mole, we will get 0 0.3816 mole. All right. Now, um, we need to look back into the equation here where 2 mole of electron produces one mole of hydrogen gas right uh, we can change that also the two electron into coulomb which is two times two nines five hundred coulomb however uh, the one that really take part during the reaction is only 0 0.3816 mole of hydrogen so we can find the x value first by cross multiplication so 0 0.3816 times 2 times 10 times 96 500 coulomb we will get 73667.5 coulomb and then this refers to q now we can use q is equal to it in order to find the time because we need to find the time taken right and i here is given as 12 ampere so Q is equal to IT and T here refers to in second. So you need to be really, really careful. So 73667.5 Coulomb equal to 12T because the ampere is 12. So 73667.5 divided by 12, we will get 6138.9 second. All right. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.